Hi everyone, my name is Amina and welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. 大家好,我叫何明,欢迎你来到或者回到我的YouTube channel. So in today's video, I will be giving you guys a tour of my boarding school's campus. But due to COVID-19, you'll see that campus looks a little bit empty compared to normal. And so I was up there recently because my family, my friend Milan and I drove up 10 hours to go pick up my stuff. All of the student body had to leave early in March due to COVID-19. And so us seniors, like most seniors across the world, unfortunately did not get to have an in-person graduation. And so graduation at my school is a really big deal. It's a big tradition and I want to give you guys a sense of what it looks like through a few clips. So here you go. school that I go to is called Culver Academies and for the girls it's a leadership school and for the boys it's a military school and it's in Culver, Indiana and once you get to the virtual graduation part of this video you'll get to see us in our uniforms and so our school has done a really good job of trying to make us seniors feel better about the current predicament and how it's affected our graduation and one of the ways that they've done this is by having celebrities send us well-wishing videos and so we've had Napoleon Dynamite send us a video, Golden Globe and Emmy award-winning actress Laura Linney from Ozark send a video and we've also had Kesha send us a video. Go to Culver Academy's class of 2020. Congratulations! You're graduating! It's very exciting and I know a lot of hard work was put in to reaching this point and I'm so sorry you can't be with your classmates right now but I just want to send a little message that you should be so proud of yourself and this is one of life's great moments that you'll remember forever so don't let anything or anyone take that away from you you should feel so so proud congratulations for me kesha i know it's random but i just wanted to send my love so without further ado here is a tour of campus so this is the Huffington Library, Huffington as in Huffington Post, and inside are beautiful paintings, a Degas sculpture, lots of books, and study rooms that I wish I could show you, but I couldn't go inside due to COVID-19. This is the Math and Science building, and then up ahead is the auditorium. On the second floor um, is the dance studio where I dance, and inside we also have all school meetings that happen every other week that I helped lead this year. And then these are the three main academic buildings. Thanks. And then this is the view into the quad, the main part of campus from the academic buildings. And on the left is the humanities building. In the middle is the language building. And on the right is the visual arts building. Ahead is Beeson, which is only for seniors to go into. And then this is my dorm building. This is my dorm room. I wish I could show you all of the decor and you know my bean bag, but due to COVID, we had to leave early and the adults on campus packed up our rooms. And then this is the view outside of my window into kind of seeing the lake in the field. And then, so this is the field, that main area that you can see outside of my window and people like to tan and, you know, play volleyball and frisbee. And then this is the beautiful Lake Max and Cucky, which is just super nice to be on and be around. It's really relaxing. And this is a cannon. So my school is a military school for the boys. And so at 7.30 a.m. every day and 6.30 p.m., the cannon goes off to signal the raising and lowering of the flag. And so this is the stables for the horses. There are 97 stalls in there for the horses that we have. Here are a couple of them. We also have a horse whose name is Mina that I met my eighth grade year when I visited. So I think that's pretty cool. So this here is the football field, which also doubles as the lacrosse field. And our lacrosse team regularly wins national championships. And then this here is the tennis facility. Over there are indoor courts as well. 
and this is one of the nicest definitely high school facilities in the country and it competes with college facilities as well this is the hockey arena there are two ice hockey rinks inside of there i um, mean we have five hockey teams at the school and then this is the crew building the rowing building it is extremely nice from what i have heard i unfortunately and kind of embarrassingly have never been inside and it was locked <laughs> These are other dormitory buildings for girls. And then this is a brand new building as of this year. It's called The Shack and it's basically like a little restaurant on campus. And then this is the dining hall where we get our breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's also a bookstore underneath. And this is the Lay Dining Hall um, named after, you know, like Lay's potato chips. And then this is the chapel. And then we also have a summer camp for younger students. And these are the cabins that the campers live in. The camp is called Woodcraft. And then here is the town of Culver, just a little bit of it. We were going to breakfast. And then this is some decor in one of the cute stores in town called Civvies. And then this is the end of the tour and this is Logan's Port Gate. So I wish I could show you guys the inside of more buildings like the library, the classrooms, the dining hall, the stables, but unfortunately due to COVID-19, I wasn't able to go inside. There's one more building that I think is really important that I wish I could show you guys, which is the main gym called Steinbrenner because inside of there is the swimming pool, four different basketball courts that also serve as our volleyball courts, um, racquetball courts, two indoor tracks, a fencing room, a weightlifting room, a fitness gym that has cardio equipment like treadmills and bikes, and then also more weightlifting equipment. And then also in there is a yoga type studio. And then we also have two athletic training rooms so that if athletes get hurt, um, trainers can help us, you know, rehabilitate. And so that would be kind of the tour of the Culver Academy's campus. I hope you guys enjoy that. And now we're going to get into what our virtual graduation looked like and how I celebrated that with my family and friends. So some of my friends came over to help me celebrate my virtual graduation and my mom surprised me by having a lot of our friends drive by to celebrate and you know give me posters and cards which was super nice so i'm super thankful for everyone who came and thank you to my mom for organizing that and surprising me here are some of the posters my friends and family friends made and the beautiful flowers in this box, my school shipped to me my diploma, a time capsule from freshman year, seashells from the lake. These are letters that my teachers wrote me, so thank you. And they also included a photo of all of my classmates.
Here are a few of the girls' school uniform options. We have different options that aren't pictured that sometimes depend on the season, the occasion, or just what we're feeling that day. I'm excited for the years ahead. Don't blink, it might fly by too quickly. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.